What is up, everyone? Welcome to Reality Room Podcast with Paul and Chris. Give me the latest on Big Stupid, I'm sorry, Big Brother, <laughs> episode six and seven. That's right, guys. This is Reality Room Podcast, episode 23, I believe it is. So, yeah, let's just jump right into the episode. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, so we got this HOH competition. Um, we have a flashback. Frank tells Victor he voted out Josiah and says that Paul is good with Victor. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, what else? All right. So James throws the HOH for the team because he doesn't want to get blood on his hands. And I, I thought he did it in a beautiful fashion. Like uh, it seemed which, very. Did he take the uh, shorter? He took, he the, took the shorter, shorter route, route yeah. which is, I mean, Victor knew, but still, I mean, I thought I thought it was pretty funny personally. Yeah. Uh, let me know. Let's let's okay. know what you guys thought about yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, all right. So they had like seven berries like stacked in one rack and then once they got enough berries that's when James threw it yeah because then they all fell down okay so we Polly wins HOH which means that Michelle, Bridget, Frank and Polly are all safe for eviction and everyone who voted against Polly uh, the, that same day is pretty much fucked yeah basically <laughs> Um, so, Vi- this was pretty sad. Victor was crying because he got blindsided, and he said he was going to take Jose really far. I feel bad for him. I, I kind of feel bad for Victor a little bit, but whatever. Well, it's the game, well, it's Big Brother. I mean, uh, yeah. the game played him. I don't like know? anyone crying, but whatever. So, Z and Day, um, Especially well, okay, so they, they found out that Z and Day lied about voting out Polly. Yep. Uh, Mitch tells... Mitch, did you just put Mitch on here? You put Mitch? Michelle. Michelle, um... Someone's okay. Whatever. Uh, Pauly tells Paul that he might cut Victor um, in the HOH room. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Paul's trying to gain trust with Pauly right now, which makes sense. Yeah, that's, he's trying to um, convince Paul to go on the block as a pawn so they can backdoor Victor, basically. And yeah. Paul's like, "Well, I don't really have a fucking choice in the diary room." Right. Which you know, it makes a lot of sense. He's like, "Okay, I gotta play low now because uh, I'm on the outskirts." Yeah, pretty much. Um, so James has a crush on everyone. Uh, yeah, basically. Yeah. It's mostly, nowadays, it's just looking like Natalie. And Natalie yeah. even said that James is someone that she would date um, after yeah. the show. So I'm like, ooh. Yeah, right? Spicy. Um, nomination ceremony happens, and Paul and Brunt are on the block. Um, Paulie says that he put Paul on the block because he's not sure where he stands, and he, put, and he also put Bronte on the block because um, same reason, same fucking reason, man. And um, then he said you're also the two who voted me. Yeah, out. which makes sense. Let's be real. I, I don't know why he didn't just say that. Like, I think he knows where they're at. Yeah. So um, Bronte says that she has to say low on the radar. Which, yeah. I mean, obviously. And then we have like this clip. I don't. Very confused as to why they showed this clip. I think you know where I'm going with this. <laughs> yeah. So Corey talks about. Spending six hundred dollars for Christmas. What does this have to do with anything? I don't know, man. It's just, it's just it's like of, we have all this gameplay going on, and then we just have Corey talking about, you know, how he loves Christmas. It's just one of those random fucking things that Big Brother does. It just like to show things to waste time. And I'm just like thinking to myself, there's so much more important yeah, shit right. they could have shown. <laughs> They're showing fucking what Corey with Christmas. Do? Let's see. All right. <laughs> Regardless about Christmas and other holidays that obviously Corey likes, um, Bronte gets. Um, pranked by um, Natalie and James. James. Yeah, yeah, that was funny. So we get, every episode we have a, a prank by James. I think every single episode we've had. I mean, they so can far. they can like stop that. I mean, <laughs> you know, stop that. Yeah, just stop that. Didn't they show one in the next episode with fucking James and Nicole? Was that yeah, it was, was yeah, it was when he was hiding in the trash can. Was, yeah. I was like, I, I don't remember whether I saw that on the feeds on the actual show, but yeah. so come on. Like, it's so often nowadays. I don't know. Well, James is second on Joker, so I guess it's doing him some good. All right, so let's talk about this BB Roll Kill competition. So the BB Roll Kill competition is that they have to um, pretty much price everything to make to equal $18. Yeah. Which and, is kind of easy. Yeah, they have like 10 things there, and I'm like, I could And do one of them one's like, like $165. It's like, okay, so clearly this is not right because they would need yeah, I'm not, fucking a 30, a 35, 35 cents. cents. Yeah, yeah. So right. why would they even an option they had like a 99 cents one and there was nothing for a penny so it's like it's some things you can just take out so, sim- so simply but you know obviously people um you know it's it's easy for us because we're not pressurized but yeah. the people in the house they're under such a such a large amount of pressure so they're like oh my god i'm thinking so much into it but uh the winner of that ended up being victor, victor. surprisingly tiffany as a math teacher didn't really and bronte and bronte yeah who's a mathematician kind of by that, but that's okay Tiffany, well, not for Tiffany, Tiffany thought way too much into yeah. it. She was going crazy. And, you know, Victor, he's a finance guy, so it makes sense. Right. 
So Victor wins, and he tells pretty much he tells Polly. Yeah, he tells Polly. He tells Polly, and Polly tells the whole house, and he also tells Paul, and Paul tells him, "Don't tell Polly." Yeah, and Victor's like, "No, nah, we can trust him." Oh my god! And Paul's yeah. like, "You fucking moron!" I'm. This is why I like Paul right now because he knows about the backdoor deal. Yeah, so he has to like shut up about it, which sucks, but oh well. Yeah. So Paul tells yeah Paul tells Victor not to tell anyone, and Tiffany is nominated for eviction. Yeah, and on the live feeds they showed fucking like Nicole fucking crying. James was gonna volunteer to go up because. James they was, didn't want, but they didn't, didn't want care. James because James would throw it, throw the veto. Oh, I'm, no, I'm sorry. Um, they would want James because they th- would throw the veto. Yeah, right. So, um, no, Victor wouldn't want James to be the roadkill nominee because he would throw it and have the other ones. James isn't that smart. I mean, uh, Victor isn't that smart. James is James is that smart. Victor yeah. isn't that smart. Um, all right, let's just go into episode seven. Right, so, so episode seven, guys. Right, so Victor says he um, he can get the votes to get Tiffany out of the game. I I completely agree, one hundred percent. Um, so Tiffany's crying, Michelle comforts her, with how much and shit, Devon. With how much shit Frank's talking, though, like, I'm not surprised. Yeah. He probably right. thinks that. But yeah, t- Tiffany's crying. Uh, I, th- I feel like she got a bad edit, because I was watching this on the feeds, like, when yeah. it happened. It was just like, okay. Like, she was upset. Yeah. Everyone's upset when they're on the fucking block. Yeah, like, Bronte was sad to, when she got put out. No one wants to go home. Yeah, no one wants to go home. And she, think it's, she thinks it's a backdoor plan by the guys, which, honestly, Frank wants her gone, and at that point, literally everyone has said, get Tiffany out at some point. So she's not completely off base, yeah. just off base for this week. Mm-hmm. So um, Tiffany talks to Polly about getting backdoored, blah, blah, blah. Day is still seeing Vanessa and Tiffany. Yeah, whatever. Bronte wants to say hello and play nice. Frank is worried about Tiffany and obviously from the mis- well the communication that they had. All Frank does is talk shit about Tiffany on the live feeds now. Like every I mean, everything's Tiffany's fault. He's like, oh, Michelle's saying this, Tiff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, Polly's doing this, fucking Tiff. Yeah, I think Frank would go after Tiffany before he would go after Paul. Obviously. Yeah, Frank. Frank doesn't even want Paul out. He wants Tiff out first. And he wants to keep Bridget safe. I don't even know what the fuck's going on anymore. Mm-hmm. All right. So Tiffany has to throw the veto so that way. They would have control over Victor getting backdoored. Yeah, she's on the block, so... Right. So Day is saying Polly could be the... Okay, so now Day is saying that Polly could be the eighth instead of Tiffany. How do you feel about that? I I think that the live feeds later would say otherwise, you know? It's just so fucking weird. Yeah. Mm. So, all right, so let's go with the veto players. Um, we got Polly, Tiff, Bronte, Paul. Paul picks... Um, Paul picks Zakia. Yeah, Paul picks Zakia. Yeah. Which was smart. I'm yeah, not gonna it was lie. smart. It's kind of like a double edged sword. Did you see Victor's face though? Yeah, like he was, he was like he was like He smart. didn't want to do it. He really did not want to do it. Victor was like smiling when he when Paul's name was picked, and yeah. he was just like Yeah. I don't know, it was that weird. Sucks. Um and then <laughs> Hold on. Lines. Explain that to me. Yeah. Paul, <laughs> Paul, Paul was playing Paul, stupid. Paul was really good there, I have to admit. Hold okay. on. So now Paul Paul is doing a really good job, I feel like, and this is the Paul that I that you Warned, knew. was what knew was going to happen at one point. Well, let's, let's wait for our Bronte rebound too. Yeah. <laughs> Paul, uh, so Paul's trying to get some of Frank's trust by doing this, um, and I don't blame him honestly. He's, I mean, he's got to like disattach himself from. Yeah, he Victor. does. It's, it's, you know, it's not easy. Yeah. But that's what he's got to do. Okay. So Paul. Corey is hosting the. I'm sorry to interrupt you. But Corey is hosting. I'm sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> Corey is hoping the uh, veto competition. Veto competition is called Welcome to um, to Tozarks. That's what it's called. Yeah. Yep. And they uh, they have to. It's basically the the staple Big Brother competition yeah. where you have to find letters and spell words. Only this time it's more like a Scrabble game. Yeah. Where each letter has a corresponding point value, and you have to have the most points at the end. So right. it's no longer about the uh, the length of the word; it's about the amount of points you get. Mm-hmm. And some letters have zero. I believe it's zero to three points. Okay. So before we say what the um, words are, Tiffany um, looks at Day's letters. What happens is Day puts the let gets gets all her letters in. She yeah, and, and basically, finished, and then Tiffany tries to compare how many letters that she has. Tiff decides to not throw the competition, like just to put it out there. Uh, even though if Tiff was off the block, it would be Victor deciding who goes up. Uh, Tiff decides not to throw it. Mm-hmm. So let, let's just go off with the words. Right, so so we'll, Paul's word is slouched, which is nine points. Tiffany gets twinkling, which was ten points. Yep. Day gets redemption. These are pretty big words. Day gets redemption for nine points. Zakia gets duration for six. Bronte um, beats Tiffany with the uh, powerful. Yep. 
Um, and well, they, it was like they had the same amount of points, but because Bronte got it before Tiffany did, she yeah. yeah, yeah. And Paulie gets sustainability, which is also only ten points. Yeah, even though it's such a long ass word because of the so, because of the vowels. Yeah. So, so Polly wins the veto. Right. So Polly holds all the power this week. H O H. Well, not all the power. He didn't win the most kill. He went. He has most of the power this week uh, with the H O H and the veto. And uh, so after the competition, he walks up to Paul, and he's like... I'm using it on you. He's like, hey, buddy, I'm going to use it on you. And Paul's like, gives, it, gives him like the bro hug. He's yeah. like, thank you so much. Oh. Okay, so, so, yeah, so Paulie tells Paul he's going to save him. Yeah. James hides in a trash can and, you know... Hashtag too many pranks. <laughs> Hashtag big brother get a hint. And now, Every three episodes, come on. Every three episodes. We'll all right, so one. final... Fatal 5 is now Fatal 4 because Tiffany is crying and... She, She's over exaggerating. Until the live feeds. Until the live feeds. Well, the Fighter Five's basically dead now. Yeah, pretty much. Um, day, so Day wants Tiffany out. Apparently. From, from this episode. Frank wants Tiffany out. So Paul, unfortunately, has to play Victor right now and say, like, listen, like, I don't know. I think he's going to be using the veto to save uh, Bronte. Yeah. And Victor's get... like, I don't know, man. I'm like, no, I don't think I'm going home. I think I'm safe. I think I'm good. I think t- oh Tiffany's going home this week, and Paul's just like, listen, I tried. I'm done. Pretty just, much. Just leave. <laughs> All right, so let's go with the veto meeting. So Pauly decides to use the veto to save Paul. Friendship. 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 And Victor gets backdoored. Yep. And, you know, and on the feeds, uh, Victor wasn't too surprised. Yeah. He wasn't salty about it. He was just like, okay, listen, that's fine. Let's just try to get Tiffany home. But up to this point, he, he still thinks he has the votes yeah. to get Tip out. He's just not a very good player. He's just too trusting. Mm-hmm. Like, he's a smart guy, smart, physical guy, but he's too trusting of a person, and that's his downfall. Yes. So, uh, let's jump a little bit into live feeds live and feeds. updates. All right. So you, you, you start okay, off. Okay, so I, know you have some stuff I, I really have some like stuff Day. Stuff. I really like the Day and Tiffany working together. Right, so what's what's been going on with that? We okay, just said so this episode. is what, okay, so on the live feeds, I think it was Sunday or Monday, I don't remember exactly which day. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Whatever. Thursday, every day. So Devon and Tiffany are talking about um, the guys might be getting, the guys might be intimidated by the number of girls in the house. Yeah. So what happens is Devon says we should get pretty much the order, we should get Vic out, then Paul, then Frank. Right. And now let's jump forward a few more days yeah. where it ha, turns out... A few more days. Let's jump up over a few more days where it turns out that everyone in the house is finding out that Frank is making alliances, like end alliances with, with everyone. With multiple different Final people. Final two with Nicole. Final two with Nicole. Final two with James. Final four with the vets. Final four including Polly and Corey. And um, I, think, I think it was Nicole. Nicole's in like all of them, yeah. mostly. Um, creates a final four with Zakia Day or final three something something along those lines and Nicole I think mm. um, so yeah he's creating these deals with everyone and it's basically telling everyone listen he's telling James we're gonna get Corey and uh, Polly out like before final eight then he tells uh, Corey and James they're gonna get James out before final eight yeah. it's just like does he not think this is gonna get around so everyone is starting to target uh, Frank now and Day was talking to Tip, and she was like, listen, you're the only one I can really trust right now. Because it turns out, yeah. for all of you that know, you're all digging the Zakia Polly alliance. Well, you know who's know. not? Well, you know who's not digging it? Davon. Yeah, exactly. Because, you know, you know, that girl walks but out like, there. Yeah, and I also heard that, like, Zakia, like, Zakia, the Fatal Five were talking, like, yeah, yeah. Zakia's like, yeah, I got Polly. Like, I'll make him, you know, believe. That were showmans. And then she, yeah, but it's really a showman. They're like, they're really like into each other. Yeah, it's not that surprising. So, um, uh, Polly tries to form a final five deal with uh, him, Zakia, Corey, Nicole, and Davon. And Davon. And she, Davon goes back, goes back and tells James and Tiffany. Mm-hmm. Tell, I don't know who she tells first, but um, yeah, she tells. And she tells Nicole that she's not into that. But the good news, the good news about Devon telling James, Day's smart. Day really wants a girl to win the season. I, this is what I think. I think Day wants a girl to win the season, and she's using whatever information she can possible to fuck over all the guys. Because if you think about it, Day is going to t- Day is trying to get James to target Polly and Corey, and 
you know, Frank's now a target too, so now it's going around in a circle like... Well, I think she was just doing that to build trust with them. Yeah, so, they get their jury vote to maybe... Well, to build... Because James isn't in it, wasn't in any, any of the Frank deals. Yeah. It was like so weird, basically. So yeah, I guess Day is playing pretty smart. I yeah, mean, I think Day's going to make it far. I think she really... I think Day's plan with Tiffany might work. However, there is the issue with Devon where she's basically... Where she's basically um, wanted everyone to get out of the house. Mm-hmm. She's talked about getting everyone out at some point. Everyone in her alliance she's talked about getting out. Everyone in, on the other side of the house, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah. So, and anything else on live feed and updates? Um, I want to talk a little bit more about this tiffany Davon thing. Yeah. Because they've been talking a lot. They, Davon told Tiffany that she's basically the closest one... To her in the house. Her, Michelle, and I think it was James. So at some point we might see a final four with those four. I wouldn't mind that. Um, and I wouldn't mind even Paul being in there too. Because Paul has been very good in I think Paul's going to make it. I think people are going to realize that getting Paul out was a waste. Because he's one, he's by himself. Yeah, he's by himself. He's one number. What's one number going to do? Exactly. However, Tiff, uh, there's a lot of talk in the house about Tiffany uh, cozying it up with the Spy Girls. So a lot of people yeah. are still worried about that. Even now, like not not Dave on anymore, but still like Polly and Corey are saying, listen, down the road, we're going to have to cut Tiff. <sighs> Shit's getting real. It's getting <laughs> real. You know, I, think- I thought this was going to be so boring. Like the, the eight pack's going to run shit, but now distru- there's already distrust within the eight pack. I know, pack. like this happened quicker than I thought. I and thought- James was right about telling Devon about this. James tells Devon, like, listen, these final eight deals, they don't work out that well. They never do. And the reason... The reason is because you never know who is the most trusting. You yeah, always exactly. ha- you always have like these factions in a big alliance mm-hmm. that are for each other, and then you start building relationships with other people in the house. Mm-hmm. It's inevitable. So what do you what do you think of, about everything? I think everything is kind of like discombobulated right now. Mm-hmm. There's like people who are trusting each other. There's people who say they're going to work with someone and they're not going to do it. So it all really comes down with the competitions. Yeah, and basically. with this battle back twist, and the who teams. the fuck knows? And the teams, there's a lot of fuck variables everything. and switches and conditional branches that it's going to be hard to say who is going to get far. I really have no idea who's going to win the game. Exactly. So as of right now, Frank's a target for next week, potentially. Potentially. And if that happens, girl power. Girl power. That's right. It's going to be four guys game. are going to be out. Yeah. I mean, it was, it's very similar to uh, Big Brother Canada, where the first four people out were girls, weren't they? Mm-hmm. And then they brought back Kelsey and Maddie, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. I mean, not Maddie, uh, Kelsey, Kelsey and, and Levita, yeah. but, you know, still, it was still the first four players out. Mm-hmm. Although a girl still made Final Two, so, you yeah. know, we'll, we'll see what happens yeah. there. I'm not so optimistic about it, but there's so much, like, feminism in the house, like, yeah. I don't really understand why you would align with people based just solely on their gender just i think it's just like the idea of having a girl win flashback and rachel riley win for season 13 they just wanted like this is ridiculous um because 14 15 16 17 all guys all guys all guys and the girls are just like we can like can we just fucking work together and let a girl win the season I think it's more like an emotional and mental thing rather than just like a strategic move. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I understand. But I would rather, you know, be the winner rather than having a girl win. And that's what the girls have to realize. You know, some yeah. of the girls aren't, might not be the best for their game. And down the road, they're going to see but that. But they, they, I think for them, it's, be, it's better to get all these guys out pre-jury and then... The bigger guys. I think yeah. the guys that are there after Frank leaves, I think they're okay. Yeah. Because, you know, they're not really that big. Um... Corey, maybe Corey or Parley or Parley at some point. All right, so uh, I guess we'll uh, end the episode there. Yep. Um, thank you guys for watching this ep- recap. You can follow us on Facebook at Reality Room Podcast. You can follow us on Twitter at Room Podcast. Until next go- next time, guys. Uh, See ya. Really quick, guys. Oh. Um, on the Big Brother live feeds, our room is called Room Podcast. If you want to see it. If you want to join us, just PM us your name and we'll add you to the group. So uh, this has been Reality Room Podcast, episode 23. Uh, Peace, guys. Yep, see ya.